Hey, y'all, y'all tuned in right now to that Hood Talk News, man. That's your boy, Big Panamera, JT Bigger Figure, and Lockstone, Blackstone. You dig all the way from Fillmore, Africa, man. Keep pushing, my G. I just want the paper, I just want the paper Tryna run that check up, I ain't worried about no hater I just want the paper, I just want the paper Run around with that bankroll on my life, ain't looking for danger Yeah, yeah, we getting money over here Yeah, I see them haters over there Yeah, them boys be wishy-washy, yeah Yeah, oh, oh, oh Shut your dumb ass up! Yo, yo, I'm with Jay Storm right now. I just want to shout out to Hook Talk News and give him some love. Man, you already know what it is. All money in, no money out. Jay Storm from the east to the west. You already know, man. Shout out to Hood Talk News. You already know. Thanks, bro. Peace and love. HoodTalkNews.com. We on fire. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man, I want to talk about Tasha K. Dragon Jaguar. And Jaguar clapping back. First of all, I want to say to Tasha K, look, look at this shit, man. I mean, Jaguar, it shouldn't have never been no goddamn clapping back. One, I'm going to say that to Jaguar. It shouldn't have been no clapping back. Tasha K, you shouldn't have never jag, dragged uh, Jaguar. And I'm going to tell you why. And, and salute the Jaguar because she keep coming strong, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? You taking down the goddamn devil. Because check this out, right? Tasha K called this lady to do a goddamn interview, right? She didn't call Tasha K. Now, everybody say she did an interview with one of uh, Tasha K protégés. You know what I'm saying? She didn't goddamn do the interview with Tasha K. Tasha K reached out to her, okay? You bring it later on the show. I'm pretty sure you pay her something because she said to you in the interview, Tell your husband I said thanks. So I'm pretty sure he probably done sent her some money or some shit like that and shit, right? But the thing is, Tasha K went to lose and all her subscribers. I mean, the motherfucker dropping about a goddamn dozen shit or more. God damn it. I think in like the last couple of days, she done lost by at least five, five thousand, god damn it. Now, you called this lady on your show for a goddamn interview. Why is you mad at her? Because your subscribers feel a certain kind of way. She didn't do nothing. She didn't come on your show and tell them people, do not come back. She didn't do that. She didn't do that. You should be attacking your subscribers. You should be telling them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all unsubscribing to me for a goddamn interview because she didn't tell them. Even after the interview, I seen something she post and was, was saluting your ass. But your pen is all in the goddamn bunch bundle, goddamn it, all up in your ass. You ain't have nobody else to attack because you know it will take you forever trying to get at all your goddamn subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So you say, fuck it. They unfollowing me. I'm going to take that shit out on her. But see, the thing is, that's what a coward motherfucker do because you had all the opportunity to say what you said to her. But you couldn't do nothing because she was way, she, she, she spoke better than your ass. Straight up. Rather she, rather if you want to feel she was making sense or not, she answered your question. And all you can do is drop, your mouth can do is drop because you ain't feel she was going to answer them motherfuckers like that. You thought she was going to have her tangled up like you had everybody else tangled up. But let me ask you something, Tasha K. Why is you all mad? Was that an interview or uh, was Jaguar in an interview or interrogation, God damn it? The question that you was asking. And if she did attack anybody, it's on them to come after her, not you. Where the fuck you is, the gatekeeper? You ain't no motherfucking gatekeeper, man. Who, who gave you? Listen, it, okay, you came on. You said she's dealing with mental issues. You said that, you said that. You, you should know that by now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, if you said all, if you gon', if you feel that way, you should know what you're dealing with. Cause that's what you felt. You see what I'm saying? You said that shit. That's what you felt. 
Like something was wrong with her because the way you were looking at it, you felt that way. You understand me? So if you feel this way, why would you bring her on to tear down for some other motherfucker? You should have let it go. She already had done did goddamn 20 interview with the other dude. But you just had to jump your funky ass up in there to, to feel like, to do what you been doing, tearing people down. But you met your match. Let it go. She didn't tell them people to unsubscribe to you. They, they stopped fucking unsubscribing to you because they wanted to. Had nothing to do with her. It had something to do with the conversation. God damn it. That people felt she made more sense than you. It wasn't no. Now one of y'all went on that motherfucker saying, say, don't fuck with Jad. Why? You didn't say that. And she didn't say, don't fuck with Tasha. So what is the goddamn big deal? You coming on trying to drag and make up. Listen, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Regardless of what Jaguar say, whether she right or wrong, because I, I know a lot of people already know half of the shit she's saying. You know, a lot of people don't goddamn believe, but that's not the point, Tasha. You could have left her where she's standing if you going to goddamn bring her on your show just to tear her down, man. We doing too much of that shit, man. Straight up. Tearing each other down. You act like you get some cool point from that shit. You know what? Because Tasha K is a goddamn clout chaser and really want to be down with these celebrities. If they let her in, she'll tell all her subscribers to kiss, kiss, kiss her black ass. I'm going to the goddamn, I'm going to Hollywood. Fuck y'all. Because that's what that's what it seemed like she fighting for. One minute you say you know Alicia Keys. Well, you ain't say you know her. I'm take that back. You ain't never say that. One minute you saying you're getting text from her, then you're talking about you don't know her, you know her mother and all this shit. Man, look here, man. Fuck all that goddamn name dropping. Because these people are just regular people like us. They maybe had a hit or so. What make them better? I see people for what the fuck they is. I don't give a fuck about that shit, though. Straight up. Right is right and wrong is wrong. You're a good person. You're a good person. You're a fucked up person. You're a fucked up person. Because let me tell y'all something. You can have a person in your life because you feel all their accomplishments. You know what I'm saying? That all the shit they done did. You know what I'm saying? That you feel, I got to have them in my life. But you got to understand, I done been around a lot of millionaires and they ain't going to do shit for you. Nothing. But use you until they can't use you no more. That's how they got to the, most of them got to the top like that. I'd rather have that goddamn a uh, 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 broke down ass friend with potential that meant that we can build something together with, you know what I'm saying? That I know ain't going to goddamn backstab me in the goddamn end. Then the clout chase to be down with these motherfuckers straight up. Straight the fuck up, man. I don't, hey man, look, listen, I, I done been in the room with a lot of them and I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about that. And you can ask the goddamn it. You, man, listen, let me tell you something about people from where I'm from. One thing about Florida motherfuckers, we've never been starstruck. God damn it. You can ask Will Smith. He came down here performing. Welcome to Miami. They booed the fuck out of his ass. Because we don't care nothing about that shit, man. This was years ago, though, y'all. We don't care nothing about that shit, man. This shit like goddamn L.A., we see them all the time. We see them all the time. We don't care now. We ain't never give a fuck about that. If you meet anybody from Florida, we got that fuck, that attitude like we don't give a fuck. We really don't give a fuck. If it ain't about no money, we really don't give a fuck. We talking about the goddamn, I'm, I'm from Miami. We talking about the cocaine capital, nigga. This shit all about money. So we don't give a fuck. See, I got a different kind of attitude because we don't give a fuck about being down with no motherfucker about if they ain't bringing no money to the table. God damn it. If they ain't doing something for our community, we don't give a fuck. Straight the fuck up. We'll throw your ass right up at this motherfucker. Straight up, man. That's why you ain't never hear nobody come to They came to Miami and took over. No, they came to Miami and they lived in this motherfucker. And they came to Florida and they lived in this motherfucker. But they trust me, they quiet as a goddamn church mouse. How of them you don't know if they even live this motherfucker? We ain't on that shit, boy. We don't care nothing about that. And when you get that in your head, like, you know... You really give a fuck about good people, good genuine people, and you don't give a fuck what they did in life and all that shit there, as long as they ain't did nothing by, to, to violate anyone. And they good people. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, man. Shit. You can learn a lot from a goddamn bum. You give a fuck about none of that shit there, but see, people be wanting to be down so goddamn bad, they'll do anything to be down. Y'all pay attention, even your favorite goddamn bloggers, man, they do anything to goddamn be down. 
Straight the fuck up, man. I ain't on that shit, man. I treat people like I want to be treated. I don't give a fuck who you is. You violate me, I'm going to violate your ass. Straight up. And that's how I feel about the shit. But yeah, man, this was supposed to be an interview, Tasha K, not an interrogation. And, and why is you so mad at this lady? Then went and put, get that down time. You don't want to pull up all this lady information, putting it on the internet. Why? What is all this for? What is all this for? She didn't do anything to you. You need to be checking your fans. They don't want unsubscribing. She didn't tell one person to unsubscribe to you. It's just your day done came. People been watching you tear people down for goddamn years, man. And now your day done came, man. You, you made your bed. Lay in the motherfucker. Stop kicking and lay down. Shit. God damn. Hey, man, I just came to bring y'all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, salute the uh, Jaguar. You ain't do shit wrong, Jaguar. Don't be running around this motherfucker like you did something wrong. You ain't stop goddamn coming back. You ain't did nothing wrong. The people tearing up. Know what I think Jaguar should do? Set up a podcast. I'll be right there listening, Jaguar. You said you said you really want to take motherfucker down. You set up a podcast. It's over for you. Set up a podcast. It's over. It's over. And I know plenty of people will give you that money and, and puts you in a goddamn space to do your shit. Trust me. Straight up. Hey, man, I just came to bring y'all that, man. I love y'all, man. I'm out.